Responses of the UK and the EU reaching a Brexit deal are in jeopardy after key talks broke down last night. The meeting between the EU's Michel Barnier and the UK's Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab lasted little more than an hour. Shortly after that meeting, Barnier tweeted that despite intense efforts, some key issues are still open. And he went on to mention the ongoing issue of the Irish border. Well, uh, let's get uh, some more on that. To do that, I'm joined uh, in London by our correspondent Vincent McAvinney. Good morning to you, Vincent. Uh, rather a damp squib of a meeting last night, wasn't it? Good morning, Belle. That's right, this was an unexpected trip by Dominic Raab to Brussels, and we thought that he was going there to sign a deal ahead of the uh, meeting this week of EU leaders. We thought that they had worked through things, and this was a bit of dotting the I's and crossing the T's, perhaps a bit of brinkmanship to show that they had really tried at all hours to get this sorted out. But in the end, no result was had from that meeting. Both parties went away with the issue of the Northern Irish border still unresolved, something which has deeply divided Brussels and Westminster and caused real problems for Theresa May and her agreement that she has for support here in the Houses of Parliament from the Northern Irish DUP party. Uh, and what does all this mean for Theresa May and her government? Well, if you think about Theresa May as a bit of a chess player, for months she's been making moves around the board but is slowly being hemmed in. And now she really just has her king and she can move it one place and get in checkmate and then back again and another place and checkmate and then back again because she is totally stuck in this Northern Ireland situation. She does not want to have uh, Northern Ireland left in the customs union because that would mean it's in a separate position to the rest of the UK, a border down the Irish Sea. And she's heard from cabinet ministers behind the scenes that they will not accept this. Some of them, we think three of them, may be on the verge of resigning over this. We've also had the Scottish Secretary, David Mundell, and the leader of the Tories in Scotland, Ruth Davidson, writing to the Prime Minister over the weekend saying that Northern Ireland and can't have a special deal because it will really hurt them in Scotland with the nationalist movement there. But then you have to say, OK, do we put the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland? Now, I was there last week. That's a 500 kilometre border with 208 official checkpoints, 30 miles of waterway and then many other smaller points. How do you actually get that crossing to work? The technological solutions some have suggested, a security expert I spoke to last week simply said that won't work. The idea of putting drones up over that border, he said they'll be shot down. Any kind of camera system will be uh, vandalised because people there will see it as surveillance by a foreign government and it simply will be too tricky. So at the moment, Theresa May is stuck in this position where she can't find a workable solution. She's got a foreign Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson saying allowing Northern Ireland to stay within the customs union would be the biggest humiliation since Suez. And she needs to now try to keep her party together because aside from all the complications from that deal with Brussels, there are serious problems in her own party now. People talking about a possible leadership challenge coming because it doesn't look at the moment like she can get a deal from Brussels and that she can then get it and bring it back to the UK and get it through the House of Commons pleasing everyone.